angular momentum is equal to the moment of inertia times omega for a solid body. However, can a point mass have angular momentum, a mass that has no radius? And we know it can because if it hits me off center, it will cause me to rotate. And so the angular momentum must have come from the mass itself. If I am placed so the mass hits me directly in my center, there will be no rotation. However, if I am located away from the path of the mass, when it hits me, it will cause me to rotate. We are going to see how to calculate the angular momentum that that point mass has. A point mass, or a mass that is not rotating itself, can have angular momentum about an external point if it's not headed right for that point. If it's headed off center, then the angular momentum is the cross product of radius across the momentum of the particle, or the absolute value of this is equal to mv r perpendicular, where r perpendicular is what we call the impact parameter or the perpendicular distance from the center point to the straight line path of the particle. We see this when we catch something off center from us, where we are free to rotate or we're free in space. And so this particle, if we were to catch it, would have angular momentum. And then when we caught it, we would be rotating with that same angular momentum. Or if we were to start at rest where we don't have any angular momentum, but we were to throw a particle off center, the angular momentum that it has about our center would be equal and opposite to the angular momentum that we pick up from it. Where does this formula come from? The angular momentum for a point mass about some center point of rotation is equal to the radius vector cross the momentum of that particle, or mass times velocity of the particle times the perpendicular radius, called the impact parameter. First of all, we know the system has angular momentum because after I catch it, I'm rotating. We are rotating. And angular momentum is always conserved if there's no outside torques. There's no outside torques here. And I have angular momentum after it hits me. So there always was angular momentum. And so for me, I'm just sitting here. I have no angular momentum at first. All the angular momentum must have come from that particle. So how do we calculate the angular momentum of this particle? The formula I know for angular momentum is I times omega. And so I can find the angular momentum of this point at any time I like because angular momentum is conserved. So I'm going to pick the moment it's right here moving at speed v. And that's when I reach out and catch it and I gain all its angular momentum. And so I can just say, look, it's at uh, some distance r perpendicular and it has some mass. So its moment of inertia is m r perpendicular squared. And then I have to find omega. Ah, right, I know v, tangential, is equal to omega times r, perpendicular. So omega is just v divided by r, and I can see these cancel, and I end up with mv r perpendicular. I can check the cross product just to see if my direction is correct, because after I catch it, I know I'm rotating this way, and that is out of the board. And so let's see. r cross momentum is, sure enough, out of the board. 